This is one I remembered when I was 10 years old. And this is how they used to play it. And this is the type of music they played at that time. They called it ragtime. And the name was Don't You Hit That Lady Dressed in Green. We'd say 35 years ago, there was a fellow who came from New Orleans named Jelly Roll Martin. This is how he introduced ragtime. Scott Joplin's Maple Leaf Rag, which is about 40 years old. But Jelly Roll played it around 35 when I was also a boy, I remember. This is how that went. Later than that, we'll say around 1924, there was a fellow by the name of Bob Hawkins, who was a great pianist, and he took the same type of music, and we call it from ragtime, came Gut Bucket. So this is what he played. Don't you dare to strike me again, Mademoiselle. How we? Uh -huh. Thank you very much in English. French, merci beaucoup. Along come a guy then by the name of Ford Dabney who wrote, That's Why They Call Me Shine, exactly 30 years ago. He was a very good pianist, very modern. We call this ragtime. This is how it went.
1935. Now comes 1940. 1940, 1935. There's a guy named Abba Very fast left hand. This is how he played. This is how they played then. I call it the cutout now, but then they call it tense. And the left hand the right hand moving, Puku Brazili. piano at that same time was a terrific pianist named Alberta Simmons. This is how she played. Fast piano, very modern. This is how she would play with, say, the Docktown Strutters Ball, which is 30 years old, going on 35. had a fellow named Abba Labba, who was a boy around San Juan Hill in America. That's where all the rough people used to live. Abba Labba had a fast left hand, like he'd play the Darktown Strutter's Ball. This is how he'd play the Darktown Strutter's Ball. <laughs> Thank you. 
out of this, how Lucky Roberts created and played his tunes around 40 years ago, 35 to 40, and one of, this, uh, one of the names of his famous tune was called Pork and Beans. Here's the introduction, here's the tune. Come, sir. Lucky Roberts. 